Hey guys, and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find me on Twitter at AKNacer. Today we're doing a really cool image. This is uh, the second part of our recreation of the Riddick poster, and we're going to be doing some really cool work with his eyes today, and we're going to be doing some text work, and uh, his eyes, they're my eyes. We photographed me. That's just what we do sometimes, but let's go ahead and get into it. So in part one, we actually took care of all the coloring and everything like that. We went from this being straight out of camera um, all the way to here. Now what we're going to do is take care of the detail here in the eyes, and we're actually going to be creating some eyes um, from scratch, the, what's going to be looking like it's inside of the eyes anyway. So what we're going to do is I'm going to create a new layer, and I'm going to grab my marquee tool. Let's go ahead and grab a, an elliptical marquee, and we're going to make a selection right there around one of the eyes. That looks pretty good there. Okay, now let's go ahead and select out the other one as well. So to, if you want to make two different selections with the same in the same um, you know, tool selection. Uh, hold down the shift key and that will add to your selection. So I'm going to hold down shift and then just kind of like drag that in there and there we go. That looks pretty good. Now I'd want these edges to be a little bit blurry. Here's a quick tip for you. You can actually um, hit Q for quick mask and then you can do a regular Gaussian blur if you want to um, and then it'll apply it to your selection and hit Q again and now your selection will have a little bit of a blur on it. So Q for your quick mask which turns the selection into the quick mask. Then you can give it a Gaussian blur and then hit Q to go back. And now your selection, you'll be able to see, let's just choose a white color here. Um, it's got a faded edge. So instead of being such a hard edge, it's actually got a feathered edge, which is really cool. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is basically pick um, how to like start painting in these eyes. And it's totally up to you on how you want to do it. Um, one way could be kind of sampling. And here's how we'll go ahead and start. I'm gonna sample some of the color that's already in Riddick size right here. And um, that's just going to get us a good starting point. All right, so what I'm kind of focusing on right now, and I'm on a new layer here, I'm just kind of focusing on painting this in, you know, with like a soft round brush. And um, there we go, that looks pretty good. You can hit Command H to hide your selection there if you want to do that. There we go. Okay, so Command H is going to hide your selection, and um, then you can just kind of see a little bit more accurately what you're doing. So then he kind of like goes into this like little bit of a lighter color here. So I'm going to start painting in some of this lighter color. I'm just using a soft round brush here. If you wanted to add some texture and stuff like that, I'll show you how to do that in just a little bit. But at this point, we just want to get like the general shapes, right? All right. Then it's like this, you know, even light color. And I'm making these brushes like smaller and smaller as we go in. I'm also going to kind of like zoom out because I, I kind of want to see what it looks like, you know, what this image looks like um, on a little bit larger scale. And uh, the reason being is like I, I don't really know, you know, it, it might look good close up, but it might kind of not really translate a little bit farther away. So that's why we're just going to look at it, you know, from a little bit closer scale and then uh, zoom out. All right, let's go even more now to the like the white colors. This isn't something that's like super, super easy, but it's totally doable. I mean, you can see if I'm doing it, then <laughs> if I'm doing that, it's totally doable. Okay, so basically I'm just like kind of painting those in with a brush tool. I'll show you how to get detail in there in just a second. But I was using the colors, just kind of sampling it from, from this layer. Okay, now let's go ahead and deselect. I'm going to put a layer mask on this layer, and then we're going to make a really small brush, and then I'm going to paint with black on my layer mask, and uh, just like this. And what this is going to do is it's kind of, kind of look like, you know, the, the hairs or whatever that, that would be um, eyelashes or eyebrows or something like that. So I'm just using a very small brush and painting black, and this is like, you know, basically showing up as, um, it's showing up making this layer not visible, whatever I paint, um, which kind of takes care of the, the hair or whatever for you there. All right, that looks good. And uh, we'll just do the same thing here. Now, you might have to like, after you do this, or you might have to go in and kind of recreate the eyes. Eyes are not easy to paint, by the way, so if this takes a little bit of time, don't worry about it, but have fun with it because that's the whole, that's the whole kind of idea, right? So you can see what I just did with the layer mask kind of makes it look like they're, you know, actually kind of like inset a little bit there, and uh, it makes it look like there's hair in front of whatever I uh, painted. So it just, it should help it make it look like quite a bit more real. Um, that's the goal anyway. So uh, whether it does or does not, <laughs> I guess is up to me, uh, but that's the goal. So the next thing I'm seeing is like the, the light in the eyes is just a little bit too high. Like it's, it, there should be a little shadow on the top of the eye from like the, from, you know, just the eyelid and areas like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in and paint on this. Um, but before I do, like if, let's just say I wanted to paint pink. I don't, but 
If I wanted to paint pink, it wouldn't show up on my layer mask, but it would show up everywhere else, right? So what I'm gonna do instead, because I want it just to show up in the area that I had selected previously, I'm gonna click on this lock here. And what that lock is, it's a transparency lock. So that's only gonna allow me to paint where I've already painted before, which is really cool. So I don't have to worry about reselecting anything, any, anything like that. It's just gonna allow me to paint that. And if I unclick that, now I can paint it everywhere. So it's a really cool tip. It's just a transparency lock. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna choose like a slightly darker color and I'm gonna come in here with that, you know, slightly dark color coming from above, just kind of like build in, say, oh, you know, maybe you should have that, you know, the shadow area or whatever um, up there as well. All right. And you can just kind of like paint in here and just have a lot of fun with it. There's no, there's no real rule. There are no real rules whenever you're doing something like this. You just kind of get in there and have some fun with it. All right, so we'll make this eye a little bit darker. There we go. This one can get a little bit darker as well. Okay, now let's go ahead and bring back those highlights. So we're gonna go all the way back here to like a very bright color. And you could even make a new layer. Like if you don't feel comfortable doing all this on the same layer, um, just don't do it on the same layer. Make a new layer in, in between and you're good to go. All right, there we go. Just kind of painting this. I'm, I'm just having fun with this. I think this sort of thing is really, really fun. Um, you might not, but then again, I don't know why you're watching this if you don't like to do stuff like this. So it's all in your control. <laughs> okay, that looks cool. And this is a short tutorial, so I'm not gonna get it like absolutely, absolutely perfect, but after the tutorial's over, I'm gonna come and work just a little bit more. But basically the same thing, it's just like, you know, Painting eyes from scratch is not that easy, so it takes a little bit of time. Okay, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint with white, just like on the very, very tips here, just like, you know, super, super highlight areas. And it's just gonna kinda help sell that. And you want your highlights usually to be quite small as well. There we go. So using a smaller brush is gonna really help out. And highlights you want, you know, generally to be like either pure white or pretty close to it. Um, so keep that in mind as well when you're, whenever you're uh, painting highlights. It's just go ahead and, you know, don't be, I won't say the word afraid, but, you know, make them, make them light. They should, be, they should be light. Like go ahead and just, you know, if you want white highlights, just paint white highlights. All right. There we go. And I'm doing all this from, you know, fairly, fairly zoomed out. Okay. That looks pretty good. We're getting pretty close anyway. Okay. So now that we have our eyes and they're pretty close, we can kind of come back here and revisit them if we want to, but our eyes are getting pretty close to what we want anyway. So we can just kind of like turn these off and on and I'm going to go ahead and shift click all those and hit command G. So those are, that's basically the eyes. Um, the eyes of Riddick. Now, what are we gonna do on top of that, like painting and stuff like that? I'm gonna grab a curves adjustment layer and I'm just gonna grab uh, the blue channel, we'll pull that up a little bit, grab the green channel, uh, pull that up a little bit as well, and then grab the RGB and pull that up. Cause it's supposed to kind of like glow these eyes. So I put a little bit of color in there and now I'm gonna add that glow back. Um, there we go. So the glow is kind of, uh, there we are just kind of like sells it a little bit more. Um, yeah, I think that works pretty well. The right eye is just a little bit too, it's too light right now, I think, anyway. So what I'm gonna do is just, uh, let's go ahead and group these. I'm gonna just put a layer mask on those and then I'm gonna just paint black on my layer mask, like down, right down here. Just kind of like darken up or, you know, give a little less area right there on that eye. Okay, cool. That looks better. Eyes are tough. Look like I got squinty eyes or something like that, but all right, I think that looks really good. So we've got our light eyes now, and then this is kind of just coming in and adding a little bit more color over the top of that. Okay, so now that we've got our eyes in place, we're pretty close actually. Um, we just want to work with a little bit of text. So what we're gonna do, let's go ahead and zoom in here. I'm gonna create a new document and, um, or new layer, sorry. Hit T for the text tool and I'll just type in 
Riddick. That's actually the Flurn font, which is kind of funny. Um, <laughs> why don't we can use the Flurn font? I don't know. We'll go up to Window and then down here to Character. You can really choose just about any any font that you want to. Um, there we go. What I want to do is you know something that's just a sans serif. You can actually click right here and just use your up and down arrows on your on your keyboard uh, to kind of choose something for you. So I'm going to show you guys some really cool things that you can do with the actual um, with this dialog box right here. As soon as we find a font that looks decent. I've already got actually everything all like done, but we're going to go ahead and just uh, we're going to redo at least half of it. All right, so that looks pretty cool. That's the that's a decent well, it's Gil Sands. Well, <laughs> someone was going to get mad at me for that. All right. It's like I'm Comic Sans Riddick over here. Um, I don't know much about type, by the way. OK, that looks fine. Whatever. It really doesn't matter at this point. So we've got this Riddick. Let's go ahead and hit Command T to make it a little bit bigger. There we go. And now I'm going to hit Command J on top of that. Let's move that up there. And then I'm going to actually just type in my name, Aaron Nace. And we're going to make this quite a bit smaller. But the next thing we're going to do is I want it to be smaller, but I want this to be like spaced apart as well, the letters. So we're going to go to Window and down here to Character. And right here, I'm just going to actually choose the width that's between each letter. So this width does not actually affect the letters themselves. It's not, it's not making the letters, there we go. It's not making the letters wider. It's just increasing the spacing in between each of the letters. There we go. And let's just go ahead and size it up accordingly. So you can see how, you know, even with a smaller font, you can go ahead and space things apart. And uh, that's basically how that, uh, how, that, um, how that works. And then what's it say on the bottom? Something like rule the dark. OK. I will rule the dark. Thank you for that invitation. Um, <laughs> there we go. Something like that. So, now I'm just going to shift click all these three layers and um, lower the opacity a little bit because I want it to be just a little bit darker. Um, yeah, and there you're pretty much on your way to a movie poster right there. The only thing we're going to really do here is um, I'm going to make that invisible. And then this is one that I already actually prepared where I like the font a little bit better and it's got IMAX. I just pulled this in from the internet, like the rated R poster and things like that. Um, so those are, those are really easy. You could just type in to Google whatever rated R logo or whatever, and it'll come up there. So um, that's pretty much it, guys. So this is our movie poster. I'm going to go in and work on these eyes just a little bit more after this, but basically doing the same thing, painting a little bit around them. This is something that you should spend a little bit of time. But you can see, uh, going from before, just this, to this after, really didn't take a long time and um, creates a really killer, killer result. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching Flurn. I hope you had fun with this one. We're going to be mo making more movie tutorials. Uh, in the future. So I hope you guys enjoy those as well. Thanks so much guys and we'll flirt you later. Bye everyone. So scary. Just a scary, scary, scary guy. That's so ridic. Someone asked me to say that? That's so ridic. That's so ridiculous. For more information on this episode, go to flurn.com. While you're there, be sure to check out our pro tutorials. These are the most in-depth Photoshop tutorials available on the internet. If you want one for free, just sign up for our newsletter following the link right down below and it'll be delivered to you instantly. We also feature exclusive interviews, written contents, inspiration from people like you as well as professional photographers. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel.